Okay, so back with another transit video. The transits that we are going to talk about this week are um, Mercury retrograde, um, the the new moon, and oh, and uh, Uranus. As I think it's something with Venus and Uranus, but I just really did not get as much detail as I needed. So. First, we're going to talk about um, this week. Nothing major is happening until basically the weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Mercury is in retrograde in Virgo, and it's about to retrograde back to Leo. So what you can, what you could experience around this time is um, a lot of mixed messages, mis mixed communication, forgetfulness. With Mercury being in Virgo. It was like less friction in in your life and in situations or just Virgo shedding a lot of light on small things and, and things that you can fix and improve or issues that you need to work on or things that we have in, ignored. Um, so I feel like Mercury in, in Virgo, starting off in Virgo, it's about just double checking things, going back to the drawing board, making sure you have things in order or um, have checked off all your boxes before you move forward. Um, I feel like this time is going to be about decluttering, replanning, rerouting, you know, just cleaning things up as we are transitioning from July to August. I feel like we should be working on closing chapters, ending things, putting things to rest, to bed, you know, especially working on, you know, bad habits. That's a big thing that I feel like is, is highlighted right now. But with Mercury retrograding back into Leo, I feel like this is a time to go back to past hobbies, things that you used to do, things that you enjoyed, things that you wanted to do. I feel like you should be revisiting that, um, exploring or revisiting hidden talents or um, things that you have not pushed hard enough when it comes to um, just abilities and gifts and talents and so on and so forth. Um, working on being more centered will be important around this time or whatever. And, um, putting yourself out there. If you want a new job, if you want to, um, start a new business, if you already own a business, I feel like this is a very important time to be putting yourself out there, highlighting your gifts, your talents, what you can provide for, you know, your customers or a job or whatever it is. Around this time, you can expect some delays technology malfunction which is normal with mercury retrogrades this is a time for you to be reflecting or whatever and just returning to past things that you were good at or you should put more energy or effort into um what you have to work on now as well is fears things that have been blockages for you things that that has been holding you back or whatever this is a time that you should be letting things happen you should be planning ahead but letting things just come together or fall into place or whatever um and know that it's okay to put some things off like if i don't want to do it i don't feel like doing it or i now is not the time the next transit that we're going to talk about is leo the new moon in leo um i feel like this is a time to start fresh especially when it comes to goals passions i feel like you will be feeling um more motivated feeling just like that that urge to go out and do whatever it is that you've been wanting to do planning on doing thinking about doing i feel like this is the time to be putting that energy out there um I feel like a, a lot of me energy and me time doing a lot for yourself, elevating yourself, doing things that will improve you overall as a person is important right now around this time or this for this um, Leo new moon and um, just expressing yourself in positive ways or whatever. I feel like it will open up new doors for, for some reason um, for some people. And the last... The last transit or the aspect that we're going to talk about is Venus moving into Uranus or Venus square Uranus or something like that. I have not looked it up, so y'all do y'all research if y'all want to. But with this aspect, they're saying that you can expect um, something unexpected, something surprising, something shocking, something happen happening suddenly or whatever and for some people it can be a high or for some people it could be a low meaning it could be a really good thing or it could be a really bad thing that you're not expecting but that's just something that you you have to watch out for this weekend i feel like more so 
but it could be something occurring throughout this week. Um, but that's all I have. So bye y'all.